my routines, my the way I travel has just changed drastically from the van in a good way. And I have like these full weekends now where I don't have to run around and worry about where I'm going every weekend. And it's nice. <laughs> Friday night. There was a time in my life, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate, when Friday night was spent decompressing after a final exam, swapping clothes with my roommates, and laughing until 3 a.m. at a dive bar. Now, I'm decompressing after a tough week of client calls, changing into my PJs, and most likely falling asleep by 9 p.m. My, how times have changed. The final exams were passed, the roommates are raising babies and battling grade school bullies, and I am somewhere in between my Friday night van life and Friday night house life routine. You could say I'm having my house life rituals, but in a van life setting. There was a time in van life when Friday night was spent rushing off to find the next spot. But that has changed, and I have no complaints. My comfort level on the road has never been better. Oh, a moment of silence for this notebook, the notebook, the notebook that sparked my initial desire to sell the van. This pink notebook wouldn't fit anywhere, and I sat on the roof of my van in Montana upset about it, realizing it was probably time to move on. Let's all thank this notebook for sparking a movement inside of me. I am so glad I bought that notebook. Okay, back to the soothing, reflective music. afternoon it's 11 30 I don't know what you say I feel like it's too late to say good morning uh, but anyways hello thank you for joining me we are still in the courtside area I just took the dogs for a really nice walk um, it's a really nice day today which is also great and I am in desperate need of a shower well 
a hair wash. I do have a shower in the camper, obviously. Why does my fridge keep going out? So weird. Uh, anyways, I do have a shower in the camper, but, and I have like way more water, but, um, the goal is to not move it often, right? So I try to use my water very sparingly, just like the van. And that means that I have yet to wash my hair in the camper because that takes a lot of water. So I'm taking like body showers, but not washing my hair and it's time. It is time. So there is a loves in Quartzsite and my uncle's a trucker. He gets me free showers. So I'm going to go enjoy that luxury and also get some groceries and just kind of see what there is to do in Quartzsite. So come with me. I have been to 43 states and nowhere in the country have I ever seen as many rigs as I have in Quartzsite. I feel confident saying it's probably the RV snowbird capital of America. Just outside the town, there are four LTVAs or long-term visitor areas. On most BLM land, you can stay for up to 14 days for free, but on Quartzsite LTVA, $180 gets you access to a place to park for seven whole months, dump stations and trash service. That is almost worth it just alone for the trash service because it can be really stressful to find a place to throw away your trash. For somebody looking to stay put, it's really an incredible deal. In my opinion, the only downside for someone considering staying is that there isn't much of anything in Quartzsite. The closest major grocery stores, shopping, and entertainment is at least an hour away in Yuma. Quartzsite offers plenty of room to stretch out, park your rig, and go have fun on ATVs, but if you're looking for nearby conveniences that a city or even really a good sized small town might have to offer, Quartzsite probably isn't for you. However, beyond the miles and miles of rigs, you will find a fun little flea market. I explored a bit, got out, stopped to see what the different vendors had to offer, and eventually decided to grab a very nutritious lunch a hot dog absolutely smothered in grilled onions, and four onion rings the size of a hamburger. I ate two. And like everyone knows, the best part of running errands is what you get to come home to. Hi, hello, did you miss me? Hi, hi. <laughs> come on. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Good morning. Um, yesterday ended up taking so much longer than I thought it was going to. Um, just a lot of errands and I'm finding my routines, my, the way I travel has just changed drastically from the van in a good way. I used to travel every weekend in the van. Like I would stay in each spot for a week at a time, which honestly, that's probably longer than a lot of people. Not, not everyone, obviously, but a lot of people only stay for a couple days and then they go. But I was staying for at least usually about a week. And then I would go to the next spot, run errands. Um, on the weekend and I would try to do that all in one trip because my home was also my vehicle. But I am staying in each place a lot longer now which is so much more comfortable and I have like these full weekends now where I don't have to run around and worry about where I'm going every weekend and it's nice. <laughs> so yesterday I ran errands, today I'm going to clean the camper head to toe because just like the van it does get very dirty very quickly. Um, right now, timer's going off. Right now, I am making breakfast, um, and I'm going to do some meal prep, get ready for the week, and start cleaning. Um, I'm also going to try to spend the day heavy in YouTube work. Um, I will go get my cinnamon rolls out of the oven now and talk a little bit more about it. 
Wow, I am talking a lot in this video. I'm so sorry. And you are probably thinking, what a boring weekend. She fell asleep on the couch Friday, ran errands Saturday, and is spending Sunday cleaning. That doesn't sound much different than my life. And you're right, it's not. And that's the point. I finally feel like a normal person again. Don't get me wrong, some weekends I am going crazy and I'm having so many adventures and it's so fun, but some weekends also look like this. A normal person who isn't trying to force a lifestyle. I'm doing what feels right for me and in a space that is so much more fitting for me. So this may not be my most entertaining video to film, but if you're still watching, I want you to know this is my most comfortable video I filmed. So many of you are so supportive and I want to say thank you. Thank you for pushing through the rest of van life with me so that I could find the peace that RV life was going to give me. Now, let's finish the weekend on a positive note with a clean house, cute dogs, and a time-lapse sunset that you know I'm going to include. But first, here's a glimpse of what my dogs were doing the entire time I was cleaning. Okay, back to business. I've been 